Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. Now, let's head downstairs, grab some breakfast because we got a busy day today. Look who I found at breakfast. The one, the only, easy one. <laughs> What has tea mate got this morning? No oats again? Uh, no, go for eggs. Brown eggs. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Back in the room now. Breakfast was really nice. Full, quite full now. Um, I'm about to go, <laughs> I don't know what the sound was. I'm about to go get my cricket bag um, for training. Um, I'll be bowling and batting and fielding in this session, basically doing everything, but it is optional for some people. Um, and then, yeah, should be good. Um, I'm hoping to get a bit of footage from today's training session. We'll wait and see. I've got my GoPro, obviously. I'd put it behind the stumps or something. I'll go at something different. Um, hopefully I can do that, but yeah, see you guys soon. Just wanted to say a massive shout out to you guys. Um, the first Commonwealth game um, video got 1.6. Um, viewers so far, which is awesome. That's an awesome, um, I guess, start for me and my on on the video for the Commonwealth Bank um, series. So, thank you, thank you, really appreciate. It. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. It's been a whirlwind, you know, even though it's only been three days, and there's plenty to come. So, <laughs> once again, let me know if you know if you want to see anything. I'm gonna try and get a few words from a few other athletes um if they don't mind obviously gotta ask them but yeah i think it's been great so far Alrighty, time to head to training time to put my mask on all right let's go get our kit bag and then head downstairs ready for training i'm wearing the green top today because obviously we have yellow and green options for uniform so yeah looking good looking good <laughs>
just got back from training. Time to go and have some lunch. Ooh, righty, back in the room now. Some training, just dropped off my stuff and I'm about to go grab some lunch. But I don't think I've shown you guys this. This is my pink collection so far. I've got so many. And I'm still trying to get more, so fingers across tonight I can get some more. But let's head to lunch. Had a shower, just got changed and got my laundry as you can see. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do until later on. Not really sure, but I'm a little bit bored at the moment. <laughs> Just grabbing a few snacks and then I'm going to head upstairs into the international lounge and just hang out for a little bit. Alrighty, I'm going to the merchandise centre. Apparently there's some cool pins there and some other things, so we'll go check it out. Got back to the hotel, got a few things, but heading back to the room now to change into my Aussie clothes. <laughs> Daddy. I absolutely love these two pins. Look at them, the Korea pins. They are sick. Just chilling now on the bed, watching some YouTube when it loads, but obviously we are not going to the opening ceremony tonight. Which is pretty devastating, but it rules are rules. Um, and we thought it's better for the team to not go tonight because it's going to be for what, six hours? Um, plus, we've got a big game tomorrow against India. Um, already sold out, which is amazing 20,000. So, yeah, tomorrow it's going to be awesome. But obviously, tonight it's going to be a shame not going to the opening ceremony. But We'll be watching it on TV um, upstairs in level 16. And if you want, the Australian camp in the main village are putting on um, it on the big projector screen. Um, so all the Aussie teams are going to be watching it together. So it's up to you really if you want to go upstairs to level 16 or over to the main village, up to you. But once again, last night's ceremony, the flag bearer was a lot of time on your feet as well. So yeah. To be honest, I should have gave my GoPro to warn me or something like that. But, oh well, we'll be watching it on TV. Um, yeah. At least we'll be able to go to the closing ceremony. So, win-win. <laughs> Alrighty, time to head downstairs and grab some dinner and then head upstairs and watch the opening ceremony. I'm still 50-50 whether or not I want to walk over to the other village and watch it with all the other Australians, but we'll wait and see until I make that call. So, let's go get some food. <laughs> Alrighty, just finished dinner. Gonna head up to level 16 and see if anyone's up there watching the opening ceremony. If not, I'll probably just go back to the room and watch it there. But for some reason, my stomach is really hurting at the moment. So, I don't know if I've had too much curry for today. I've had two um, food of curry. I had it for lunch and for dinner. So, yeah, sorry stomach. Five, Prince Charles in 1970. It is a, his old favourite Aston Martin, which has been converted from it's traditional field was converted to run on a, a combination, a byproduct of wine manufacture and the fermentation of whey for making cheese. For centuries. for centuries, and his armoured mask features the names of the chain makers embossed upon it from those dark days. Rachel Grinham, the flag bearers for Australia. 
so much into the stadium, it is Australia loud and proud, and I'm here with Christopher McHugh and Paul Burnett, the uh, men's beach volleyball team. Uh, how does it feel, the first team into the stadium? Must be incredible atmosphere for you. Oh, it's unbelievable. It's, uh, it's always been a dream to be able to come to the Commonwealth Games, and to be in front of this many people, it's, I don't think it's something I'll ever do again, so just trying to soak it all up, it's, it's unbelievable. Your partner has, though, actually. You did really well in 2018 on home sand. Uh, won the medal there. How's it all going? Yeah, look, uh, Gold Coast was a phenomenal event, and looking forward to competing here in Birmingham. The uh, second time beach volleyball's in the game, and look, uh, first game for ball, so really looking forward to starting on Saturday down at Smithfield. Your Royal Highnesses, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, everyone here tonight, our viewers watching at home or following online, and, of course, you are Commonwealth athletes. A professional cricketer. <laughs> yeah, a, a little bit of age helps that I can transition a bit later to play cricket, but when I was young, I just played all sports, and basketball and cricket were two sports that I've loved, and I've just been so privileged to be able to come to events like this with those sports. We will stand up for the values and ideals that live at the heart of the Commonwealth Games. Our shared mental health. So up the stairs of Alexander Stadium goes Max Whitlock, six Olympic medals, three gold, ten Commonwealth. And finally, Max hands over the baton to the President of Commonwealth Games England, gold medal winning athlete of the 1994 and 1998. Gold medalist, Olympic champion in 2000, but this might be the finest moment of her career. Her Majesty the Queen has uh, asked me to read her message. Commonwealth Games open. Night time, bedtime. Good night, everyone. Sleep well. I'll see you guys in the next video. Game day tomorrow. It all starts. Good night, guys. <laughs>